Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to add, honestly, the best horror AI or monster AI or whatever you want to call it to your gold sci fan game. So, the reason why I'm saying the best is, as you know, every single other like horror AI script, there's probably only one that everybody mostly uses, it's the monster AI navigate the monster navigation script. Um, that one's trash. That was Dookie Water. Um, yeah. And some people have problems that, um, it doesn't chase everybody. Mine, it doesn't have a detection range, I'll, I'll tell you why in a second, and mine chases everybody. So, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so what you want to do is get your monster, mine's just a cube because, uh, I, I don't have a monster model. Um, uh, so, create monster, um, add a... Uh, actually, don't you don't need a box collider for now, but if you do, you just you don't really need this. Add enough mesh agent, don't change anything. Add the better horror AI script. So, if you go down into the description, go into my Discord, it's gonna be at the bottom here. Uh, it's be, gonna be called like a uh, better horror AI or best horror AI, something like that. Um, and after that, download the two scripts because there's a horror AI script and the jump script. script. So, um, here, you're gonna have monster settings. Wander speed is gonna be how fast the monster will just walks around when he does not, uh, when it doesn't, doesn't see anything. Chasing speed is how fast uh, it will go to like chase you, uh, or any other player. Agent, just drag the damage agent into here. Player tag, um, so what you need to do, go to resources, folks in VR player. Uh, in the body, or head, whatever. Not in the hands though, the body or head. Create capsule collider. Uh, we'll add a capsule. Add the tag like I'll say body or chase a player. Add a layer, uh, trigger, uh, so that you cannot or, like non walkable, so that you uh, you don't collide with it. And also add a trigger to the thing here. Uh, now remember the tag you put on the thing here. I put body. Now go back into the horror into the monster and put the same tag as uh, in player tag uh, make sure it's the exact same and then in view distance if you turn on gizmos you're gonna see these red lines um, this is basically if if the player um, hits one of these red lines then the it's like the monsters uh, POV so if you know what ray casting is this is what it uses ray casting um, it's basically a raycasting uh, AI. So, basically, if what if, uh, if like if I explain it to you, um, if the gorilla player or the player is uh, touching or like the, if the hit raycast is hitting the gorilla player, the monster knows to, uh, that it's there and it will chase it. Uh, so yeah, view distance is how far the monster can see. Uh, so let's say you have a like really long tunnel. From one place to another, make it just a bit longer. But if you don't really, I would say maybe make it as 10 or like 20. Um, this does not see through walls, so I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. Um, now, FOV angle is the FOV of the monster. As you can see, you can make it wider, you can make it smaller. I just do not recommend going over like 180 because if you look at this, it, that's just kind of not cool i mean you can do this if you really want to but yeah i would say keep it maybe 60 or 70 i think 70 is probably like the best one ray count is gonna be how many rays rays go out of the thing and then yeah so this means basically how accurate it's gonna be, be. if you only have like three let's say it's only gonna go one, one there one there and one in the middle so it won't be that accurate I have it as 10, you can have it as 20, I don't think so this will lag your game, um, I, th I think it might if you had like 100, but uh, I don't I don't think it lags your game if you have 10 or 20. Uh, chase duration is basically, so, so that, because I had this problem when I made the script before the chase duration, is when the gorilla player went into the site and went out, it just immediately stopped chasing it. So what I, what I did is um, I added this thing 
where it will still chase it even if the player is out of like one of these rays for how many seconds you want. I put it as 5, you can put out anything you want. When hit color, this is just recast color, you don't need to edit this, I suggest maybe keeping this as the same. But when hit color is basically the color when uh, the, the ray has hit the player or uh, any object with a tag here. And when not hit, as you can see, it's red when it's not hit anything. This is just a debugging, you do not have to change anything with this. And yeah, that's your whole horror AI um, done. Now what you want to do is add a photon view, photon transform view. Uh, do ownership tran uh, transfer as takeover and synchronization as unreliable and change. And for this photon transform view, uh, just leave it at the same. Also, do not add a rigid body since that just kind of doesn't. I mean, you can add a rigid body, but um, you don't really have to. And if some of you might be thinking, uh, how how will I make the monster move by itself? Um, it just in the script, it just makes the monster move by itself. You don't have to add any points. Now create a cube or a capsule collider or sphere collider. Um, Turn the mesh render off, but I just have it on to show you guys. Uh, if it's a box collider or whatever, just have a trigger. Layer, do trigger. Or like any layer, like not walkable. Now down here, add the jump screen new. This script was made by BMIX. Um, you, I think you should go check his channel out. I think he has some pretty cool uh, scripts there. I don't know. Um, but yeah. I edited it a little to make it just a bit better, and um, yeah. So player, um, dragging like a real player, if you can, it is because you're probably, you probably have a different kind of script. If you probably have, um, the, like, soft chimp locomotion, and you don't have this player script, then I don't think so this jump score will work for you. Uh, because this, I don't, I think this is only made for, uh, the gorilla, uh, the gorilla rig that, uh, thingy made, uh, gorilla tag posted. So, well, another action, I guess. So, yeah. But what you can do is also click this icon down here and just select it. Walk layer is, if you go to gorilla player, locomotion enable layer. Uh, you probably only have this as default. If you have anything else, then, uh, just remember it. Why is it all the way over here? Okay, there we go. But mine is default and static, so if I go back to this, I'll put default and static. TP point, uh, make an empty game object. If you want it to, if you want to make it easy for yourself to see it where it is, uh, make a sphere. I just did 0 0.5 for all of these. Take with the collider, and yeah, you can see it just a bit easier. This is where the player will teleport to when uh, they die. So just drag it in. Jump scare is going to be the jump scare uh, in your gorilla player. Make an empty and um, add a box. Um, make sure you have a pro builder, or you can use Blender for this. And do, just do flip normals. Make a material that's just black with smoothness zero, metallic um, as zero, and yeah. Uh, also turn off the box collider uh, and then add an audio source. Uh, you can make it uh, 3D, but you don't really have to. Volume, you know how to do that. Have loop and play on awake. And add your uh, audio clip of like the horror thing. And now in here, what you want to do is um, add your like horror monster. You can make this box uh, a bit bigger than this, but make sure like, if you put your gorilla rig into monster, not monster, the TP point, make sure that, the, first of all, that uh, the TP point is just a bit uh, above the ground, uh, because what it does, it teleports you to the TP point, have the jump scare there, so you're gonna be kind of like floating, and then it's just gonna be. And then your uh, thingy is gonna disable and you're just gonna fall down. So make it uh, just a bit above like the floor. Um, you can size this uh, the, the box as big as you want, but so that it doesn't touch the ground. So that it's not like kind of awkward if I show you like, so you don't see the ground like this. So yeah. Uh, yeah. 
yeah and in here you're gonna add your horror like monster and you can just then do an animation of it just like kind of shaking uh, whatever you want um, yeah that's really up to you um, I don't think you don't really need a uh, jump scare if you want it just to teleport then you can also do that but make sure jump scare is disabled go back to this add the jump scare ha handy tag tag um, don't ask why I wrote that it was because I, I really don't know um, it's just basically your hand tag on your left hand and right hand controller the reason why it's not player is because um, on the bridge bot on this it doesn't actually have a collider so uh, it just does it off your hands, so if your hands touch it, then yeah, um, you get killed. <laughs> um, so that's why it's hand tag. Jump scare length is how long the jump scare will be. So for how long you've got to float there and have your jump scare, and then yeah. So to so show you guys that it actually works, uh, if we just have this on. Go to player. See, it's just walking around peacefully. Just... If we go into it, just wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. As you can see, the things turn green. It's still chasing me, even if it's not seeing me. It's gonna chase me, chase me, and boom. And then, yep, fall back down. Yeah. This does work across multiple servers, uh, so like everybody will get chased, and yeah, that's how you add, honestly, the best type of horror AI to your Goldstack fan game. So, um, probably the next kind of tutorial, uh, what you want to do, I don't know what the next tutorial will be, but what, what you can do, if you're in my Discord, go to scripts I might do. And here are some scripts that um, I am planning to do or I am making. Um, so yeah, here are, here are just some examples. Um, I'm not really making a balloon script, um, but yeah. So I'll see all you guys in a next video or tutorial. Goodbye.